Welcome, 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 Brownie. We're back. Uh, myself, Neil Collins, next to me, Ben Grimshaw. You might remember us from finals weekend, but we're live here at the second inaugural Otatahi Cup. Uh, some NHC preparation matches going on today. Beautiful afternoon, Brownie, in uh, Christchurch here. About uh, 15 degrees, light winds coming from the west, so uh, should be an awesome day for hockey, Brownie. Yeah, we're set for a pretty good matchup here. The Cavaliers coming off a uh, 4-0 win, yes, thanks to Beavers. Wellington coming off a 5-3 loss to Otago, but big stakes in this game. Cavs looking to keep their hopes to win the Otago Cup alive against Otago tomorrow. Just that typical Napunawai chill coming across the ground, but these guys on the turf won't feel it. Absolutely, Brownie. So as we look at the lineups here, Canterbury... Pretty similar side from last year. The usual faces we've seen around the region. A couple of standouts, a couple of new guys in the team this year. We've got uh, Joey Morrison not playing today. Uh, he's returning from Birmingham and uh, a bit of fun over in Spain. So here we go. We'll get underway. Yeah, a bit of a delay here. But uh, here we go. Push back, Brownie. Yep, and underway, Brownie. Who are you? Who are you going to be your standouts today in this game? What's really going to open it up? A lot of good players out there. Yeah, well, it's interesting to see today. Canary Warden, Nick Haig, Brad Shaw filling in for the weekend. So those two experienced campaigners will be looking to get themselves involved. But also the mix of uh, old and the young. With got Charlie Morrison on the field there at left half. Etienne and uh, Josh here on the right. A great ball forward early on to the young man Lintz, but just can't get it. Yeah, not quite tall enough there, Sam Lintz, but uh, nearly connects with that one early on. So he heavily strapped Sam Lintz on the leg there. I think he's had a few stitches in the leg, so he's just come back from that. Yep, does look like it. So here we go. And for the punters out there, Brownie, a couple of good odds today. We've got... Uh, George Baker for any umpire spray. That's north or south end at a dollar fifty. So, a nice, uh, a nice little cash grab there for the uh, the punters at home. And we've also got Jack Gilbert for the first flick at a dollar oh five. So not a big money maker, but those are our odds for today. And Harrington Watt with a bit of a ball forward there doesn't link up. And great receive there, forward Brownie. Here we go. Out wide to the captain, Van Workham. Shot across. Oh, didn't like that one going wide there, Brownie. A little bit too high, but early chances here both ways. We see Ethan Booth umpire at that end. I think he put himself on this game once. Likes the uh, likes the pressure of a big game. And we've got Ben Grant uh, umpiring at the other end. Yeah, they are looking good in the. Yellow there, so oh, looks like Charlie Morrison made a loss, may have lost that one in the sun there, Brownie. So he'll get the free hit. And great receive by Sam Lentz here, ball forwards onto a foot there, Brownie. Yep, I think it was. Just going to put your bet to the to the test early on here. Yeah, and here we go for those at home who got money on. We've got Jack Gilbertson on the field. Yeah, well there you go. <laughs> so unfortunately, that is what a sub sheet will do to you in hockey. So. The other options here, Brownie, Callum Slavin, probably, Maris Musketeer. Can't quite see if George Baker's in that huddle. He is, so those are your two other options, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd say. And uh, Josh Irwin, halfway specialist, he'll go back. Back there, CD backing up. So here we go, Brownie. Charlie Morrison to inject, comes to Baker. And run down there, Lidstone will collect it. A little bit of pressure on him. Wellington looking to double team. That was Marcus Ambrose with a nice wee tackle there on Liddy to slow things down. Yeah, it was really good first running just to take out that half of the goal. Runs down George Baker and it's just harmlessly for a long corner. CD whips one wide there. So a couple chances going the Cavaliers' way. Uh, just couldn't get those long levers around to get in the far corner. Just lost that one off the tee and that's just uh, missed the right post. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Baker now into the press, but negated well. 
Good ball forward. This is Liam Mortimer. Slips. One out wide. Ball in. Receive. Turn. Well defended. Onto a foot there, Brownie. I think it is Ethan Booth. The crisp whistle, and we've got a corner for Wellington. You see Canterbury pressing very aggressively there, and it just came back to haunt them. It's just able to find the left half open, and uh, it gives a lot of space and a lot of field to uh, play into. Yeah, and we've got the big 2-2 there on the bracket for uh, Wellington. I think he's been a bit of the talk of the town here as far as drag flicking goes. Uh, Callum Olsen, that is. So I'm sure we will see a few from him today. He is lined up there on the first battery. Looks like we've got Canterbury set here, ready to go. Ball comes to the top. Second battery, and a good save early on from Josh White. Just didn't get, didn't get a lot on that one, Brownie, but slipped it around the runners, and a comfortable save there for Josh to get his uh, first touch of the game. Yeah, that's another one you got wrong there, Emil. They get to go away from Olsen. Don't know if that was Olsen. That might have been number 18 there. Yeah, it's just the number's not quite matching up here, Brownie, but we'll battle through. And here we go. So Felix rolls on now into this uh, back three. We've got Charlie Morrison and Josh Irwin, Jimmy Strokes, as he's now being dubbed in the Canterbury community, on the halves. So I'm sure they'll have license to dribble. Great pick up by Josh Irwin there. Ball forward to Jack Gilbert. Uh, it's a lovely pass, but to absolutely no one. Yeah, that was uh, Rocky Ethan Barton looking to get on the uh, end of that one. Ball through. So, oh, great little keep in there, Brownie. I was about to segue to... Absolute confusion there. About six subs on the sideline. One ends up getting the ball. Well, oh, the here. break. Great ball to the T-spot, Brownie. Good receive. Haig tackles well. And Ethan Barton not in the NHC side as there's a couple fillings today, but he will be stoked to be out there. The late call-in. Yeah, speaking of fillings, Nick Haig, great man to have as a fill-in on the team. He's probably got more caps than uh, most of these guys in the field combined. Absolutely. Sam Lentz, he likes that, doesn't he? Good ball forward. He's got support under him. Looking for the pass. Nope. Going to dribble. Going to turn it over, unfortunately. So here go Wellington. Yeah, this number sheet just throwing me for a loop, Brownie. I don't know about you, but I just can't piece it together right now. So Olsen now around the back. Goes to the far side. We'll send the Edmund team on uh, to try to get some numbers lined up some players here. Well, you know what they say, Brownie, a good day at Napunawai beats, a, a bad day at Napunawai, sorry, beats a good day in the office. So Jack Gilbert now comes forward. Certainly a nice day today, Bullen. And Moss Jackson narrowly missing that one. Yeah, you see that pro Professor Gadget arm there from Moss Jackson almost came out of nowhere. <laughs> Almost get a touch on the back post. Yeah, I was going to say, Brownie, how, how much taller do you need to be to get to that one? Obviously, a lot taller than Moss. A little bit out of reach there, but he is a, uh, one of the weapons of this Canterbury side. So, ball forward now. little penetration on the baseline. Oh, good keeping, but a great attack down the baseline. Lifts it over the advancing Josh White, and nearly a chance back post there, Brownie, for Wellington. Yeah, Wellington able to find a lot of space coming out of the back with a few overheads, a few longer balls. Granny Woods is going to be... Scratches here on the sideline, wondering what's going on at the moment in the press because they've turned it over a few times, but as many times as that, they've been caught out at the back. you just got to be clinical, don't you? Scoring goals is how you win hockey games, and we haven't seen chances finished off yet. Ball forward, little trap door from Cam Stiffett. Oh, wow. Yeah, good ball forward, though, Brownie. Certainly a lot of longer balls linking up early yet. Sam Lintz has found himself on the end of a few. Yeah, not a lot of play in the midfield so far. A lot of play in both circles, though. No goal as of yet. Moss Jackson, you see this, that big reach come into play? Yeah, I hope Liddy's paying for the LASIK there. He just threw that one straight into the sun for Moss, but he brings it down well. So here we go. Ball through. That looks like... 
Yeah, again, don't have the number for number 11 there, unfortunately, but the name, I should say, but we'll get those shortly. Myself, Ben Grimshaw, Canterbury boys, but awesome to have all the teams down here, Brownie. It's a really great event, isn't it? Uh, you took part in it last year. I've taken part in it both years, but awesome to get some warm-up hockey in for NHC. Yeah, second year it's been running. It's proven it's some good games, good entertaining games so far. This fixture last year, I believe Canterbury got the uh, better of Wellington. Possibly a 4 one -ish result, I'm going to say. Um, something in that ballpark. But So Wellington, we're looking to uh, just get the better of them this year. Yeah, that was a Sky Sport affair last year. But this year's event brought to you by the crystal clear cello sport camera. So Napunuai 1 has been blessed with a lot of footage. It's been really great to have. And it just expands the game and makes it more accessible to viewers at home. But once again, if you're in the Otatahi area, please come on down. It's a great day here at Napunuai. And this is our final match of the day. We've got more hockey tomorrow on Cello Sport. So here we go. Great little tackle there by Brad Short. And a brownie, a few old dogs out here for Canterbury. You talked about Nick Hague earlier. Brad Short, also a wealth of black sticks caps he's uh, playing today. So a whole lot of awesome talent on the field for this one. Here's George Baker, number four for Canterbury on the ball. Ball for Jackson in the corner, tackled nicely there by Van Werkham. He'll carry away, the Wellington captain. Brad Shaw, Nearly dispossessed there. And with Brad on the park today, would you say this is probably one of the tallest uh, sides the Cavs have put out in years? Yeah. It, I, I would certainly say so. I mean, you've got a lot of length, Cam Stephitt, Cameron Douglas. I mean, got, con got, got this team confused with the Chicago Bulls in the warm-up, to be honest, Brandon, you with do, the red and the, the height. You do have your wee Sammy Lintzes bringing it back down to earth, yeah, though. No, I didn't want to make that one, Brownie, but if you're going to, then... Yeah, certainly the averages are at both ends of the spectrum. But more midfield play now, Brownie. Game seems, teams have settled in a little bit. Not quite the expanse of hockey we saw for the first 10 minutes of this uh, period. Charlie Morrison now into the middle. And he'll open it right back up. Chance here for Baker. Oh, close one there, Barton. Trying to get the stick on that one, but that was just coming at his head, so it'll go over the back. You see, well, he always found a two at the back. Their they're, uh, wing halves are quite wide up the field here. Canterbury will continue to impress quite aggressively, though. We'll see how well they respond. So here we go. Angus Baumar there putting a ball forward for Van Werken but didn't link up. And Morrison gets himself back on the ball. Looking for a teammate and possibly a haircut this weekend, Brownie, as Charlie Morrison. So Wellington just going to settle this one down. Baker into the press again. Good work down the sideline there. And a good ball forward. Slavin brought into the tackle zone now. Good ball. Oh, epic work here, Brownie. That was a great bit of skill forward. Yeah, well cleaned up there by Slavin and uh, ET at the back. It's casual. It's the whole position in the corner. And they will get a sideline hit. Yeah, Etienne, a first-time Cavalier this year. And now Cam Hayde looking to go forward. Great ball from Cam. He's one of the impact players here in this Canterbury midfield. Certainly left me scratching my head last night, Brownie. He uh, will get his hands on the ball in this game, I'm sure. Well, to look to play quick again. Great work there by ET. He'll dump it to Callum Slavin. Jack Gilbert. Black, black. 
Ball in. Nothing connecting there. Good defence. Just have a three minutes to go here. Still no score in the game. A few chances at both ends, but both keepers up to the task. Josh Irwin on the ball now. Rolls out and finds Felix Rolls. Great cut inside by Morrison. Ball forward from Slaven. Awesome find, Sam Lintz. Cuts in field. And off a stick there, so Canterbury will get the free hit outside. Nick Lidstone to take it. Finds Cam Hayde. Just whips one in there. Doesn't link up. Good ball forward. Finds Van Workham again. Firm whistle from Ben Grant. Goodness me. Making himself asserted in this game with another one. And came off a foot there. Ethan Booth blowing that one up. So Wellington will get a free hit at the top here. And a penalty corner, Brownie. I'm... Uh, not five there, was it? Yeah, I think he's caught up for the not five. There are a few carry players surrounding the ball, and uh, I think one got a bit greedy. Got his hands in the cookie jar, and that was a pretty easy call for Ethan Booth. Yeah. And no complaints there from the uh, Cavs. They're, they're back in and they're putting on the gear. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see, though. Ethan Booth, a commanding umpire, so has respect. Has the respect of the players there, just a firm whistle. And if you want to get into the action, make sure you check out the great snaps from uh, Jeff Soper on the Facebook brownie. He'll, he's down here all weekend getting some awesome awesome footage with the uh, the big lens on. So he's up next to us here in the booth getting some nice high angles. And Van Workham to first Brett battery. Good save. Rebounds put in. Yeah. Not sure what happened there, brownie. I think it was a good initial save, but ball got caught, caught in front of the goalkeeper there, Josh White, and popped in. Yeah, I think it's actually worked out for us and the, hair, uh, the drag foot didn't come off quite right, but I think the slowness just allowed uh, no speed on the save and it's just sat there and uh, they picked up and put in the goal. And we are 1-0 to Wellington here. So here we go, Gilbert taking the quick restart, ball forward to Lidstone. And Ben Grant awards the free hit to Wellington. Ball over the top, Callum Slavin brings that one down. Awesome quarter of hockey here uh, at Napunawai. Brownie, what uh, what stood out to you there? Well, it's been a pretty uh, open game, I'd say. You'd expect these teams to maybe sit back and maybe throw a few half courts and uh, test each other out, but both been pretty aggressive in terms of their pressing, and uh, it's, it's made for some free-flowing hockey. And well into the benefactors of that, getting a few corners and putting their second one away to uh, lead 1-0. Absolutely. We'll catch you guys in 90 seconds for the second quarter of hockey here at Napunawai.
And we're back here. Little halftime break, Brownie. So obviously, if you're keeping up with the odds, Jack Gilbert did not have the first flick. So betters on that one have lost out. But is that a reoccurring special? Do we get that this quarter or not? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm just a commentator, not the odds maker, but oh, right. just well, reading out what we had for the day. But George Baker to spray an umpire at either end is still on. So number four there for Canterbury, George Baker. He's yet to do it, but now they're losing far, far more likely. Yeah. He has been playing well this weekend, but it's just... Interesting tidbit here. Cal Slavin at the back there. Canterbury boy all his life, but last year was in Wellington for work and he ended up playing the Otahi Cup yeah. for the Wellington side. Yep, he did. But back in the random league this year... Uh, <clears throat> here goes CD. Cameron Douglas outside. Oh, CD. Just left the club face open there for a second time, Brownie. That one over the top. Yeah, almost a, a bit of deja vu there, if uh, you don't mind me saying. Almost an instant replay of that first half uh, shot. Absolutely. And here goes Cam Steffitt. Possibly the second tallest one in this team, Brownie, other than CD. I mean, we, we, we haven't even got the numbers for the Wellington team, so we don't have the heights of the players either. That's getting a bit technical. Yeah. Speaking of height, here's Samuels. I'd say about a six foot average across the park, Brownie, which is quite astronomical. We've got an awesome day here at Napunawai. Not just the weather, but a, a lot of other action coming. Some rugby league in the background. All over the top to Morrison, but that landed in the circle. So, yeah, I think a few of these uh, Canterbury and Wellington boys have been confused for for league players, to be honest. Looks like they've been in the weights. So uh, this preparation. Josh Irwin getting his uh, jab tackle in there, along with several others. Free hit to Wellington. Here they go. Nice little ball forward there. Oh, Ethan Booth didn't like it. Can't play it out of bounds, can you? Ball over the top from Slaven. Straight to the Wellington half there on the far side. Good cut there. Baseline onto the foot of Harrington Watt. And another corner for Wellington Brownie. So we've seen the flick working out somewhat last time, but they haven't really got a hold of one, have they? So we see Olsen on the field this time, walking up to the bracket. He might be saying, it's my turn now, lads. Uh, you've had your chance. Now it's my turn. The last two there didn't go to Olsen. But we might see him here, Brownie. It's the third Wellington corner of the game, and to be fair to Wellington, they have probably had the better of the uh, better of the game so far and deserve their lead. Certainly on the scoreboard. So here we go. Ethan Booth three to blow this one. Ben Workham to inject. Olsen on battery one. Gonna go straight to him. And miss trap there, unfortunately. So Wellington recollect. Look for the baseline ball. Good work from Etienne. Plays it out. Olsen this is, I believe. Nope. T-spot. Fired in. Good work from Slavin there. And lifted. So Canterbury defend well, Brownie. Yeah, looked to go to Olsen that time. And a missed trap. And uh, Canterbury get away with one there. Yeah, couldn't quite see who that was on the trapping job there. Might have had a hole in the stick, though. Irwin to Gilbert. Good cut inside, dispossessed though, hand in the air, and he'll get the call. Oh no, one of the call, and he's it's been called against them. The stick shield there, call from Ben Grant. Not to break, but Lidstone in the way. Good call from Ben Grant, repeated the hand signal multiple times, just in case anyone wasn't clear at home. Hayde, ball forward to Baker on the T-spot. Across, good save from Zhao, rebound. Another good save from Zhao. Excellent work there from Wilt, just whipped that one away. And we do now, Brownie, have the updated numbers, courtesy of Sam Grimshaw from Canterbury Hockey. Him and the team have been working hard all weekend to keep this event running, so awesome shout-out to them for getting this event going for the second year in a row. Morrison up there on the baseline. Unfamiliar territory for this, my lad. 
Cuts inside. Good roll. Nice carry. Beats one. Can't beat the third. Goodness me, Brownie. Some vicious tackles going on out there. And Ben Grant will keep it under wraps with a firm whistle. So now that we have numbers, we will let you know that it is Sam Davies who took that restart there. And a big ball up the nine from Grahimi Murrell there. Olsen now looking to beat Ethan Barden, the debutante. Good dump pass, but it finds Nick Lidstone at the top of the D. He'll go forward to stiff it. Dump pass under his shoulder to Jackson. Back to stiff it. Oh, good work there from Liddy. Ah, oh, late whistle. Liddy not happy about it, but... I think he might have brought the long barrier out there, Brownie, a few weeks too early. That's got to save that for the cricket season, don't you? Yeah, it's good for saving fours, but not for, uh, not for stopping hockey balls. Nick Haig on the ball now. To Felix Rolls. One of many man buns on the pitch today. Good ball forward to Brad Shaw, former Blackstick, current crossfitter. Couldn't link up there though, could Brad? And Wellington looked to go this way, got intercept by Gilbert. They were looking for Patrick Matter there, but couldn't find him, so Gilbert will go. Ball inside to Barton. And Brad just... Puts that one out of bounds. And Wellington will restart. You can restrain it to find the ball up to the third order. That way we'll find a lot of ball. Come to the near side. Lidstone plays with his food and then dumps it back to Rolls. Good touch there from Lockie Payton. And he'll roll. Lockie now. Ball forward into the middle. That's Patrick Matter. He'll flip one forward to Olsen. And Olsen dumps that one back to... Again, there's oh, number 10 there. Nope, Sam Davies. Sorry, I thought the numbers were wrong again, Brownie. That would have been a drama, but we have the right ones. Apologies. We, we nutmeg of himself there. And the game's tightened up a lot since that first quarter. Not as open and expansive. Yep. Too right, Brownie. So here we go, Brad Shaw. Rolls. Watt. Over to Haig. Rolls. Leads into the middle. They find Morrison now. And he'll dump it back out to Haig. Far side to Jackson. Great little pickup from him. Penalty corner from way downtown there, Brownie. That was Steph Curry range, and Ben Grant blows it up. Yeah, way he? outside the arc. Jackson only just got over the uh, 25 line into the attack in, and Ben Grant didn't like what he saw there. Yeah, and they're going to have a wee appeal, but former Canterbury hockey employee Will Zow just tells the boys to leave it and hop in the goal. They've got work to do. And unfortunately... Jack Gilbert not on the field again, Brownie. So it looks like we've got Shaw and Steffert. Now, I've never seen Cam Steffert drag flick in my life, so I'm not sure what they've got here. Maybe something with Brad Shaw, Brownie. I'm, it's really up in the air right now. Yeah, I, don't, I know they normally have about four or five flickers in the, uh, in the hierarchy. None of them seem to be on. Here goes Shaw. Mistrapped again by Barton. Ball through to Barton. Finds it, but good defence there from... 
number 26, Lockie Payton. Left, lifted there by Lindsay. Goodness, he got that ball up, didn't he? Almost over his head. Yeah, that was an odd one, that corner. It seemed the whole penalty corner bracket was off. And that's a mistake at the back from Wellington. Cam Steffert cuts to the outside. Whips one in. Barton couldn't connect with him. So here we go. Restart in the corner for Wellington. Matter. But stays with Wellington. Comes around to Olsen. Van Werkham in a lot of space. Great tackle by Douglas there. Matter going forward. Dispossessed by Brad Shaw, though. Comes through to Wellington. Baseline attack. Lifted. And Morrison grabs that ball, sets it up, takes it quickly. Booth didn't like it. Interesting shape here from the Cavs at the back. Brownie almost, uh, almost as if they're overloading halves on both sides. And just content to pass it around sort of a back two with help from their midfield. Yeah, I think it's because we're only looking to protect the middle, so... Uh they're going to have to try to work it around the outside somehow. Can't seem to do it at the moment, so a lot of thinking going on on the sideline from uh, Edwards and Anderson here. And for everyone at home, Baker is now on the same side of the field as Ben Grant, so could see that money come through here as this game tightens up. Five minutes to go in the first half. Good work from Baker. Contest the ball forward and Hague will clean it up. Nick Haig, number 18 there for the Motus Health Cavaliers. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue, does it, Brownie? But a generous sponsorship and an awesome partnership with Motus Health that the Cavaliers have been using for the last two years. Oh, First card here. George Baker gets the card and he oh, is silent. Baker, silent. Nearly there, but I'm sure he will be upset with that one. So here goes Morrison. Good turnover. Eliminates one. Morrison rolls. Dumps it. And here goes Cam Hade coming forward. Another free hit. Ball over the top from Hade. Finds Gilbert. Top of the circle. Great move from Gilbert. Ball in and a goal. <laughs> What's that, Brownie? Did my eyes deceive me or did Etienne Harrington what touch that one in on the spot? Don't know what that man is doing up there. I don't know if it touched him or touched the defender, but it's gone in. Yeah, goodness. He 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 got subbed, otherwise he was running all the way back to the centre back position. But he found himself on the spot there. Might have been him. We'll uh, we'll get back to you when that updates on play HQ, but all on here, Brownie, as we approach half time. One all. Good work from Gilbert. Yeah, interesting to see Wellington maybe falling asleep there. An open man on top of the circle with only nine field players on the field for the Cavaliers. Ball into the middle. Great receive from Jimmy Strokes, Josh Irwin there. Do you reckon he's the stroke taker for the Cavs, Randy? Who might we see on the spot? I would have absolutely no idea. A lot of I'm weapons aren't there. Possibly Moss Jackson, but we'll find out. Looks like Morrison's going to take this one inside the final three minutes here of the first half. Napunawai Sports Hub Turf 1. Stream brought to you by Cello Sport. And that ball to Grant Edwards, who's out of bounds on the sideline, so Wellington will Won it. Wellington just looking to play around with it in the corner, look for a little baseline penetration. Get a free hit right outside. Slavin and Morrison double teaming there. Oh, 
Oh, Baker, fresh off the card, better ball forward. Does he have the wheels? He does for now. Goodness me, Brownie. Nearly a big break there at the end of the uh, first half for the Cavaliers. You saw Baker maybe just isolate a bit, just by himself up there, trying to get it back to Jackson, but just over the sideline. Gilbert puts the heat on, great ball forward. They link up with Jack Ritter there, he'll carry. Ritter, backstack, Booth didn't like it. Neither did he, free hit Cavs. Ball over the top here, Josh Irwin receives it. Josh Irwin recently switched to JDH Brownie, had his hockey bag stolen from his flat, so usually a Mazon player, but today using a JDH courtesy of George Baker. Under a minute left here. Can either side break the deadlock or are we going to head into the sheds at uh, one apiece? Ball over big the top, overhead. big overhead. Oh, who was that, Brownie? Patel. Free behind Callum Slavin there, but couldn't link up. And I think the Cavs will have one more go forward here through Morrison, and then we'll probably go to half time. Rolls over to Slavin. Into Lidstone, out to Slavin. Yeah, not too much going on here. Now Callum goes forwards. Missed trap, chance for Jackson. 13 seconds to go. Finds Baker. Great save from Zhao. Rebound. Oh, just oh. wide, Brownie. Awesome work from Will Zhao there in goal to keep that one out. And a huge lift for Wellington as they go one all into half time. Yeah, the Wellington defender almost yorked himself there like a, a great Trent Bolt death, bowl, uh, death over Yorker. Yep. Uh, found it's Jack, uh, Moss Jackson who uh, delivered the ball to Baker and almost ended up in the back of the net. But Yeah, that sun coming in at a piercing angle now, Brownie, so it might be a factor in the second half, but we will join you then. Quick break from uh, Napunuai Turf 1. We'll see you shortly.
And we are back here, Brownie, at the Napunai Sports Hub. See the clouds starting to roll in from the east. I believe that side is their colours, not the west. I don't have a compass, Brownie, but I'd assume that is. I mean, you're a geography man. Yeah, well, you see the hills. You see the, uh, can't see the ocean, but you know where it is. Yeah, yeah. That's where that crisp wind is coming from. So, weather's still nice here, though. Uh, second half underway. Yeah, there is a wee breeze coming in, but... One all. Nice and dry. If you're watching the All Blacks later, I'll be bidding the over rather than the under. Yeah, Morrison's going to start us off with a little dribble. Wonder where he learnt that one, Brownie. Probably from his older brother, Joey, who's not playing today, but is named in the side. So we'll see him later on in a couple of weeks at NHC in Dunedin. Aggressive for Wellington to start the half. But Morrison evades, and now there's a lot of space going forward. Ball through to Cameron Douglas there. Spins, gets all six, seven of himself around to find Josh Irwin. Ball forward to George Baker. Oh, my. Yeah. And a few calls there for Ethan Booth to blow the whistle, but no card there. You could hear it from here, though, Brownie. And Cam Hayde will go again. Bit of a goalkeeping change at both ends. Uh, high school old boys, Louis Beckett in goal now for the Cavaliers. He's been in the team for God knows how many years, but a while. And at the other end, Max Ruffle. Great name and great looking kit for Max Ruffle as well. The baby blue, a little bit of a visor on the helmet. So we'll see how these boys get into the game. Crisp, the blue and the orange. Woo. Crisp. Good tackle there from Charlie Morrison. George Baker, a little bit awkward there. Cut to the outside by Patel and flicks it onto the foot of Harrington Watt. So we'll have a free hit outside. Patel whips one in. Thought it might have hit a foot, but Ben Grant didn't call anything. Now does. Free hit again. Here's some slick moves there from Patel going forward. Crafty player for sure. Free hit right on the edge of the circle here. And they'll dump it back to Grahimi. Baker, little steal in the press there. He'll go forward. Dumps it to Steffert. Great interplay from the Cavaliers. Steffert turns, double teamed. Onto a foot. Van Workham, good little tackle there with the reverse stick. And he'll get the ball again out wide on the far side. Oh, great pick up there. Wellington with a little bit of space. Ball across. Beckett sends that one back over the sideline. Yeah, firm right boot there from Beckett. He saves those in the sleep. Absolutely. Here we go. George Baker putting a lot of pressure on in the press. Sam Lintz. Uh, good work there by Wellington to evade the press, but couldn't link up on the sideline. Looks like Morrison's going to take the uh, restart here in that corner. Find an awesome ball to Josh Irwin, fellow teammate at Marist Hockey. It was too easy there. Well, I had to just give it a slack. Call Gilbert. Out. Great ball forward to Cam. Yeah, really awesome pace to the game today, Brownie. Teams are getting into it on day two, two here of Otatahi Cup. So, some awesome hockey being played. Looks like the league festival wrapping up in the background. So quite a few spectators around the turf here. Cam Hayde rolls onto a foot. Penalty corner. Ethan Booth hasn't missed one all day. Another firm whistle. You see Cam Hayde's injected himself into the game a lot in these uh, late parts of the second quarter and the third quarter. Showing his experience on the side and uh, saying, give me the ball, lads. I'll make something happen. Inject is the perfect word for it as well, Brownie, I'd say. Nice and direct. He's just gotten stuck in. So anyway, Jeff Soper now as well on the turf. He was up in the booth getting some high angles. He's going to jump down on the sideline and get you some awesome photos. Check them out on Canterbury Hockey's Facebook. Gilbert's on the field for once. Jack Gilbert, bracket one. Callum Slavin on two. Goes to Gilbert. Wrapped into the runner. Rebound. Squeezed in. 
And our second goal, Brownie, for Canterbury. I believe it was Cam Hayden on the end of that one. Just snuck it over top of uh, the keeper. Yeah. Injecting himself, Max Ruffle. Not happy with that one. Went to, went to ground, but it just got chipped in. Just a little lob over him there, and it'll dribble across the line. So 2-1 Canterbury. And now they have the, uh, the steering wheel in their hands in the third quarter. Starting to drive this game. Turn over there on the far side. Jackson finds Lidstone. And someone was subbing there, so Liddy just passes that to the Wellington bench. Kennedy won't be happy with those PCs so far, though. They've had two run down, one missed trapped. They're looking to be a bit better. Yep, they will want to get those ready for the full NHC tournament in Dunedin in a couple of weeks' time. But early days here for the Cavs, just their second match, I believe, as a team. Slavin on the ball there. Injects into Liddy in the middle. Liddy finds Shaw. And onto a foot. So they'll restart again. Here's Josh Irwin. Oh, good work from Irwin. Nearly lost it, but recovers and puts a ball forward for Barton. Good little pick up from him. And Matter just losing that one over the sideline. So Etienne Harrington, what possible goal scorer, Brownie? We still don't uh, quite know who got that one, but I think uh, I think it's been a couple of years since he's put one in in the field. So we'll just say it was for now. Wellington, that was Liam Mortimer pressing on Haig. Haig's going to take the restart here. Finds Gilbert, little slip onto a foot there. Ball out wide to Josh Irwin, back into Brad Shaw. Great roll, Barton. Oh, what a chance. The debutant, Ethan Barton, played under-18s this year for Canterbury along with Sam Lintz from the Waikato region. Nearly slots one on debut for the Cavs there. So here we go, Wellington under the pump a little bit here. Patel with the ball. Great speed from him, eliminates Brad Shaw. Eliminates another, good work from Patel. Awesome tackle from Nick Haig. Defending well, here's Jackson now. Didn't get a hold of it. And Wellington will reset. Bit out of shape at the back there, Wellington, but now they'll organize. Josh Simons drops it back. Good turn over there, Sam Lintz. Great little move from him. Lintzy ball forward to Barton. The 18s boys linking up here. Little slip underneath. Penalty corner. And Ethan Booth just can't miss today, Brownie. Every whistle's been what it needs to be. There's no complaints so far against Booth. Reasonably easy call, so it's pretty easy foot. And... Uh, Kerry discuss what they're going to do here. Yeah, I'm sure they have some variations in the bag, but... And I can confirm on LTS, Etienne Harrington what with that wow. second goal, so... Wow. What an, what an absolute story. Thought he was going to be playing for Hawks Bay this year. Makes the Cavaliers. Scores possibly his first ever field goal, Brownie. And here we go. Jackson to inject. Comes to one. Jack Gilbert. Rips it wide. But first one they've got off successfully there, Brownie. Yeah, you see they're having to flick the stick side of the goalie now because the other side's been run off pretty well, so. Yeah. Well, it's PC defence working. Yeah, Gilbert maybe aiming for the football goals on the other pitch, but really pulled that one wide. Here's Morrison. Good work from him. Little ball down the line to Etienne. Lidstone. Good transfer over to Hay. Carlton Redcliffe's teammates linking up. Finds Barton. And goes straight over the stick there of Ethan Barton, unfortunately. 
So Canterbury will have to set up their press now. Lance dispossesses there and just goes straight into the dugout. Good tackle and substitution from him. Steffert looking to split the centre backs there for Wellington. Good work though, they get it to this near side. Down the line here to Simons. He'll find Matter in the middle. And back out there to Payton. Baker with a bit of pressure on, wins some ball in the midfield for Canterbury. Ball forward to Morrison. Charlie Morrison cuts back, dumps it to Slavin. Back to Morrison. Kicked it. So it'll be a Wellington turnover here. And Van Werken will restart. Yeah, Van Werkham got that one up in the air, but unfortunately uh, he had some tall timber in front of him there and Cameron Douglas, so straight into the body. Good ball through. Well, he's a break down the right. Well snuffed out there, though, bro, Brad Shaw. Oh, Ben Grant, another one from outside. That was for Bradshaw just swinging the stick while he was on the deck. Yeah, that big 41 and a half inch stick. Got all of the Wellington stick there. and uh, Rightfully so, Graham was to the corner and uh, Wellington will look here to try and level this game back up. Goal would be good here. I'm sure we, oh, they might have a variation, but when you've got Callum Olsen on the first battery brownie, I just, and he hasn't got one off today, I think they're probably just going to let him have another rip. So here we go. Looks like we've got Baker and Morrison as the runners. Comes to Olsen, gets a hold of it, run down well, rebound. Beckett's out. Great save from Beckett, caught under him. Penalty corner for the tackle. So good work there from the Canterbury defence, but not quite clean enough. Yeah, well run down, but ended up with almost a shootout between the, uh, the drag flicker and the goalie there. One-on-one -on -one at the spot, and uh, a great smother and save by uh, Beckett and goal. Yeah, good work to get it out as well to avoid the corner, but unfortunately someone's big swinging stick got one right back for Wellington. Oh, who's gone there? Is that Morrison maybe, or was it the Dragon Brownie? Uh, it's Morrison a bit. Morrison. And there he goes. Takes bit the knee eager pads there off. for Morrison, and yeah. uh, leaves him with three in the goal. So Baker's going to have to do a big run here. With Etienne and Brad and goal. Flick saved. Pretty direct there at Beckett. Olsen. Ball over. Goal, Wellington. So a good save there from Beckett. The flick was direct, not too well placed. But the rebound falls to the dragger and he slots it in, Brownie. Good work from Wellington. Yeah, it probably ended up being the fact <coughs> Canary left high and dry there at the back with only three defenders. And uh, once that broke down, they were able to find a pretty open man. He swept it into an open goal. Yep, so 2-2 two, two here. Inside four minutes to go in the third quarter, Brownie. Game heating up. Napunawai cooling down. That cloud has come over from the east. You are absolutely right. And I will eat my words on that one, Brownie. Yeah, it's typical around these parts for it to get a bit colder around this time of day. Sort yeah. of in the name, really, isn't it? Like no, one, no one will be... Silly enough to wear shorts this time of night, would they? Well, apart from yourself, Bill. yeah. Well, me and the people playing, so I'm sure we're all cold there at least running. I'm up in the booth, but uh, good place to be when the stream's brought to you by Cello Sports. Little ball in, Lidstone got the shoulder in there. Can't do that, can you? Yeah, so yet to really see a. Uh, a super clean field goal off the penalty corners, Brownie. We've had a couple, but they've both been off the breakdown. Well finished, though, and that's all part of the game, isn't it? Yeah. 
Slavin, little soft one up there to his teammate Josh Irwin. Ball forward, Gilbert couldn't trap it, and I think it hit something on the way through there, Brownie, so free hit. Cool back for Danger, just lifted a bit too high off the ground, and uh, Booth doesn't like that one, he'll put a stop to it. Yeah, and with the height, uh, just a little bit over the knee there, and with the height of these players on the field today, Brownie, it, it's certainly, you're allowed to put a little more air on it than usual, but I think that one might have gone past one of the shorter players, so it was no good. Here's Cam Hayde. Finds Lidstone, good open receive, and Douglas trying to get through, can't. Ball to the outside, is that Patel? Yeah, he's fast, but he's not Usain Bolt, Brownie, so he's not going to catch up to that one. Canterbury will win the ball. Just under two minutes left here. Yeah, really heating up 2-2 here, third quarter. And remember, Brownie, didn't talk about it at the top of the show, but shootouts are in play this weekend for a draw. We need results here at Otatai Cup. We're not we're not playing for draws, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Don't believe we've seen one so far in this uh, in the tournament. Yeah, Beavers Otago was close earlier. Big fourth quarter push from the Beavers, but couldn't do it. Is this George Baker with a turnover? Yeah, that's probably the closest we've had. The other results have been pretty one-sided, so this one definitely one of the tidy games of the weekend. And was that a George Baker umpire spray, Brownie? I can't quite tell. Cam Hayden loves that way over here across the circle. Yeah. And, uh, for the second time, just lands a touch inside. Yeah, well, it certainly might have been from George Baker. So we'll see how that shapes up. Here's Slavin, little takedown. Finds Cam Hayden. Looks like a tennis ball into his head there, but he'll play on. Good cutback from him. Yeah, players just not taking it on the mark, so Booth is going to let this one settle down, make them bring it back. You've got to stop it first. Okay, uh, Cam Hay that was to Slavin, ball fight in, no one there. And inside 20 seconds here to go, Brownie. Looks like we're going to go tall into the third quarter intermission. Douglas fires one in, good look. No one there again, so two all brownie players just going to walk into the dugouts. What are you expecting for this fourth quarter? It's a close one. Yeah, it's set up for a great final quarter. Absolutely. Re we'll either side uh, has some chances. But we'll see what the uh, coaches say at the uh, third quarter break here. See if they make any changes to try and break the deadlock. Yep, we'll see you guys in 90 seconds on Cello Sport back for the final quarter of play. And we're back. Ben Grimshaw back into the booth just in time. Underway. George Baker. Going to get it started. Bit having to run up there to make them, actually. Good Lord, yep. Well, that is the downside of an embankment, but the upside is we get a great view of this Otatahi Cup fixture on this Saturday evening. 
Bit of a team dinner after this. Going to be a good night. Catch up with all the players, but for now we've got one more quarter to go. Ethan Booth keeps the clinic of umpiring going down there. He's been fantastic today. Big props to the umpires here this weekend. Ball forward for Wellington, though, Brownie. Here we go. Yeah, three on three. Great passing there. And shot. Deflection goal, Brownie. Good work from Wellington. And Charlie Morrison trying to think of something that he could appeal for there, but there's nothing. That was just a well-worked field goal. Three on three. Yeah, pretty basic mistake up front from the uh, Cavaliers. And that just allowed Wellington to break. Three on three and... Uh, they just held the ball, played it smart, and uh, ended up scoring the goal. Awesome deflection there, Brownie. Yeah. Not the best ball in, but when you change the angle into the roof like that, you're going to have to pick it out of the net, as they say. So here comes Lidstone, finds Baker. Baker out to Morrison. The young fella's whipping it around. Goal scorer, Etienne Harrington Watt on the ball now. Patel nearly wins it in the press there, Brownie. He's been all over the place this second half. He has been. It's going to be interesting to see how this game shapes up from here, though. Oh, Jimmy Strokes lost that one in the light there on the far side. So Wellington gets some more position. Will Wellington sit back and uh, maybe hold their lead, or will they look to go forward and try to put another one on the net? And the Cavs now will have to push forward a bit harder than they have been. Yeah, well, I was looking forward to a shootout, but now the Cavs have some work to do if they want to get there. Great little receive there. Jack Ritter that was, great name as well, Jack Ritter, strong name, strong carry from him. Yeah, I'm not sure, Brownie, it might be Ryder, I don't know. I suppose Ritter would be two Ds. We'll have to check the comment section. Yeah, apologies there, Jack. Great name either way, though. Great ball, Cam Haid, yeah, might have got to that one in his 20s but that one was a little stretched for him now the veteran for the Cavaliers Patel good touch by Slavin but Patel's going to get a little bit of ball here on the 25 Beckett just directing traffic here trying to settle down the Cavaliers after that uh, goal there from Wellington Van Workham the second man bun on the field today along with Felix Rolls he'll inject that one from the sideline and here's Harrington Watts, goal scorer. Centre back extraordinaire for the Cavaliers. He'll take the restart. Little ball over the top from him. Finds Josh Irwin. Cuts in field. Maybe they need to put SCN back up the field to try to score this equaliser. Yeah, wow. Not sure if it was a coaching decision, Browning, or if he just went for a wee wander. But uh, either way, he was on the spot and he, he got it in there. So, yeah. They said he went rogue. He went rogue and just did his own thing and ended up at the end of the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't uh, I don't know what goes on in the minds of Craig Anderson and Grant Edwards, but um, could have been. Let alone at him. Had to what? Goodness me, no. So George Baker gets the shoulder in there, wins it. Looking a bit like his dad there, Brownie. Steve, the old uh, Canterbury rugby legend, would you say? Uh, halfback, I'd say. Yeah, it's a sporting family either way, the Bakers. His sister Emily also plays at Maris, so a lot oh. of hockey. Cam Hayde, great work from Van Workham. And the back tackle there, that was Max. Max Ruffle and goal with a big hack on the stick. Could you, a few appeals for a stroke, Brownie, what would you say about it? It was an absolutely phenomenal uh, elimination of the goalie there. You could, you could say open goal with just a defender to beat, and the defender makes the uh, foul, but... Ethan Moose talked him through his decision, and as we said, he hasn't been wrong once today, so we'll trust the man on the baseline. Yeah. Yep. Well, either way, Canterbury are going to get a bite at the cherry, aren't they? Here's George Baker and Jack Gilbert on two now, so a bit of a battery shift. Might see a wee variation here. Slavin now going to go to Baker, a little slip flick, run down. Good defence by Wellington. Ball forward as well, Brownie. Here comes Danger. Numbers for Wellington. Linking up, only two back for Canterbury. Morrison working hard, ball to the baseline. Tackle, Ben Grant's in there. Free hit, Canterbury, good defence there by Josh Irwin. Now Baker's going to go as Wellington is subbing. This is packing up, Brownie, quite frantic. Oh, Jackson. This ball into the circle. Good work there by Wellington. 
Olsen, was that? I believe it was Olsen who won the free hit there for Wellington. So we'll carry it with the bunt flick option there. Yeah, George Baker put it straight into the runner, though, so that's not going to work out. Clips Lintz's foot on the way back there. And here we go. Wellington looking to come forward. Good work from Olsen there. Slows it down, finds Jack Ryder. Get it right that time for you, Jack. Good work from him. Now he's going forward. Dispossessed by Josh Irwin there, though. Finds Cameron Douglas. He's dispossessed again. Goodness me, Brownie. Turnovers on turnovers here. Cavs just been caught out, dribbling the ball a bit too much. And, and Wellington's tackling has been pretty good so yeah, far. Those reverses have been flat and hard, and CD's been tackled a couple times there. So Wellington, dangerous pass to Gilbert, though. The big fella rumbles in. Slip to the spot, onto a foot. And Baker goes up and over the top, but penalty corner. Ethan Booth again. God, how many of those has he blown now, Brownie? That'd be about the fifth or sixth corner for Canterbury, you'd say? Yes, that's probably about number six or seven down that end at least. They have been peppering this goal, but you've got to wonder for uh, Max Ruffle and goal there. He's got a wee visor on his. It's gotten a bit darker all of a sudden at Napoon, so I wonder what's going on there. It was sunny earlier, but now uh, now visibility is a bit less. But it looks like Robocop with that, uh, with that visor on. Certainly with some of the saves he's been making, Brandon. He's been flying around the pitch. So here we go. Big penalty corner for Canterbury. Ethan Booth gives us the whistle. Moss Jackson to inject. Comes to Gilbert on two. Was there a doubt? Ball in. Great save from Ruffle. Yeah. Visor clearly not an issue for visibility, Brownie. That was a great pick down low. Yeah, I wonder if there's a bit of AI that tells him where the flicker's going. Because he was he there. sharp on that yeah, one. Yeah, early, wasn't he, Brownie? Chance there. Booth, another corner. A bit of charades there for Ethan Booth. I think that was for uh, over the baseline intentionally. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't give us a clear hand signal, did he? But he finally landed on penalty corner for Canterbury. Brownie, Moss Jackson on the injection really rips him out. You're a bit of an injector yourself. Who's got the miles per hour on those, for you or him? Uh, he's probably got a touch longer lever, which uh, attributes to a faster drag. Science. Here comes Jack Gilbert. Oh, great save on the oh. line. Ethan Booth wants a stroke, Brownie. He just doesn't miss this man. Little appeal, though. So Ben Grant's going to have a wee convo. What do you reckon there? Could look like a good save on the line. Maybe hit oh, the knee. Originally, Booth said long corner. He's going to ask Ben Grant. And Ben Grant was actually the one who made the call to Ethan Booth. So not much uh, to talk about there. Yeah. He talked about who would be the uh, stroke taker. And it is Boss Jackson. Ben Grant going to get in position. Haven't actually seen Ben Grant. Now he's a little bit closer to us, Brownie. But a great fade he's got going on there. Looking sharp. Yeah, so here's Moss Jackson. We know tell us, but he can't see the stroke. But he puts it bottom right and he scores. Yeah, for those, I don't know if the camera picked it up or not, but Moss Jackson slotted that one on the right-hand side into the side net if it didn't. So Canterbury tie this one up. And, yeah, we said it earlier, Brownie, but Jimmy Strokes probably wasn't going to be the stroke taker there. And Moss Jackson gets it done for the boys in red. All of a sudden, eight minutes. Oh, Ethan Booth. Whoa! 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 Almost a traffic light there, Brownie. Green to yellow off the start. I wonder what that was for. Maybe a bit of luck. So here we go. Wellington now get another chance with just 10 on the field for five minutes. This could be huge, Brownie. Yeah, with only eight minutes to go, this is going to be a big few minutes here for Canterbury if they can push forward and uh, try to get this winner while they're a man up. Yeah, really on. Grant Edwards pacing on the sideline there. Bit nervous. Bit of a goal fest here, Brownie. It's not quite the uh, Otago Wellington 5-4 result last night, but six goals in this one. <laughs> With eight minutes to play, it is going to be a frantic finish, possibly a shootout, Brownie. Yeah, you made it pretty loud that you want it to be a shootout. It's just good for the game, isn't it? It's exciting television. But Canterbury, I'm sure, will want to win this one in full time. So here's Lidstone. Finds Sam Fistbump Lintz. If you saw the photo from his 18s campaign on Facebook, he is known for that celebration. Maybe he's got a goal in him. Here goes Brad Shaw. Oh, big collision. Free hit. Accidental there. 
Good pat on the back. Good sportsmanship. Wellington win it here. Both. It's another strong whistle. You see all that crossfit coming handy there for Brad Shaw as he just absolutely decks another player. And then gets up like it's a burpee. I'm sure he did 30 of those on his Saturday morning workout today. But yeah, he is in good nick as he wraps up his hockey career. But couldn't stay away from another Otatahi Cup, could he, this weekend? He's not going to play in the NHC side, Brownie. But wanted a bit of hockey this weekend. Got on him. Bradshaw almost like a man that just keeps going back to his ex. He just... <sighs> Keeps getting that and Granny was in his DMs just asking him to play Cavs and he is back again. Yeah, yeah. A couple of players like that. Nick Haig, I think, as well. One of those guys. Callum Slavin, I know, at the start of the year said he wanted nothing to do with the NHC. Now he's the full-time centre-back for the Cavaliers. It's just been a hectic year with the Commonwealth Games and everything, Brownie, but good to have some NHC hockey finally here in Christchurch. It's the allure of the red and black jersey they... They can't say no once they've been yeah. asked a couple of times. And Modus Health and Paladin teaming up to make a good one. Those crisp new kits. Probably only the fourth or fifth game these have been used all time. So they are fresh unis for Canterbury. And Wellington in that classic black and yellow. Back to the hockey though, Brownie, after that tangent. So five minutes to go. And three all here at Napunawai. Well, they wouldn't have quite a bit of position for being a man down, but now they'll drop all the way back out and the Cavs should be able to get a bit of ball in the attacking half. Yeah, here's goal scorer Etienne Harrington Watt to restart, find Slavin. Haig pushing forward into the defensive mids now. He's got a little bit of room. Wellington in a half-court brownie, so pretty content to just sit there. Great ball to Baker. Across, Ruffle, great goalkeeping from him. Needs to get up and recover. Douglas... Oh, maybe a bit of obstruction there, Brownie, was it, from CD? He's got a six shield there. Yep. Good defence there from Ruffle. He's having quite the second half in goal. Crunch from Callum Slavin there, but falls to Callum Olsen. So the Callums will battle it out. Patel, good tackle by Josh Irwin. Ben Grant letting the game play. CD. Dumps it, Brad Shaw to Slavin. Coming up on four minutes to go, Brownie. Very tense finish here. Yeah, there'll be another couple of minutes with that player off when they so the Cavs will be looking to try and get something going. Jimmy strokes Josh Irwin there, receiving nicely at his feet on the sideline. Dumps it to Slavin. Patel looking to double team. Callum slips it out to Etienne. Here we go, Cavs are away on the far side. Oh, Etienne just... Shoveled one forward there, turns it over. Steffert will try help him out. Gilbert with a swinging tackle. Wins it, Gilbert. Here we go. A lot of double turnovers this quarter, Brownie. It hasn't really opened up like the earlier periods of play, would you say? Maybe a bit of fitness coming to it now. Second game in two days and uh, the fourth quarter, a pretty fast game. Yep. I know Rayner makes these Cavs boys run a few Broncos at training, a few more than they'd like, but probably pretty thankful for those right now. Looking pretty fit out there are the boys on both sides. Little roll, good tackle there. Good little carry forward here. And couldn't quite get into the circle there. Could Wellington. That was Josh Simons trying his luck. Number 19. Here they go now. Matter, great cut. Still has the ball. Turns. Matter flips it over Beckett. Oh, great chance there, but just missed it. Huge opportunity for Wellington. Ball forward to Hay. He's got Baker in front of him. Moss Jackson as well. Finds Jackson. Goal time. <laughs> Two minutes to go in Canterbury. Get it done. What a touch behind the back from Moss Jackson. Yeah, he almost had it well. He's a goal at one end, and then 10, 15 seconds later, there's a goal at the other. Yeah. Canterbury take the lead with only just under two minutes to go. Wellington, sure, might take the keeper off, might not. Probably don't need to right now. Not long to go. But they'll definitely be pushing forward here, Brownie. 
Josh Irwin in there again. Good play from him. And here we go. Wellington going to build a little position in the back three here and then try to go forward. Peyton looks to punch. Dispossessed by Jackson, but Baker couldn't win it. Free hit. Wellington. Ball into the middle. Good tackle by Cam Hayde. One-handed. And finds Lidstone. Breaking away. Good roll from him. Just lost it. So coming up on a minute to go, Brownie. Wellington going to need to make something happen. Awesome game we've been treated to today. Free hit there. Good win by Callum Slavin. He'll settle it down. Ball out to Morrison. Little touch there. So they'll slide down again. 45 seconds to go, Brownie. Yeah, I think you see this one go long down the line. For Morrison. He'll do a little carry and do exactly that. Gilbert wins it. Finding Baker down the line nicely. Can't see a few bodies in the way, but Baker's going to take it to the corner, it looks like, Brownie. Great ball in. Well defended, though. Wellington, one more chance here with 20 to go. Peyton, good ball forward, Brownie. Here's a chance. Eliminates rolls. Patel. Ball across. Chance. Good tackle from rolls. Good clearance. Eight seconds to go, Brownie. Jackson's going to take it to the corner. And... Yeah, I don't want to say it too early, but Canterbury, yeah, they've wrapped it up, Brownie. Yeah, great game of hockey there. Cavaliers get it done. 2-0 in the Mainland Cup. Wellington have lost both their first two games, so we'll be back for day three, Brownie. It's been a pleasure. Awesome game tonight. A lot of goals, a lot of action, and we'll catch you on Sunday for the final games. Cheers from myself and Ben Grimshaw.